Watch this. I do want to try Kha'Zix, though. It just feels like a big bummer when they nerfed uh, Armor Pen so hard. Armor Pen used to be really good on something like Kha'Zix because that early Ghost Blade was just flat 20 Armor Pen. And now you're only getting 40% of that, and then the rest is like depending on the level of the target you're killing. So the lower level they are, the less Armor Pen you're getting on that target. It doesn't really make sense because you should, if they're that low level, you should be punishing them even harder. But they're making it so if you're lower level, you have not as much penetration going towards you as you would before. And that's not great for assassins when you need to stay ahead the whole game to win. I think it's going to vary per champion. Like maybe something like Kha'Zix got more buffs or changes that could be better than Talon did. Or you could just flat out be worse in both categories. And they're just trying to change assassins the wrong way. I'm not going to even take Armor Pin. I, <laughs> I don't think Armor Pin's even worth it. I might just skip armor pin and just build AD and like cooldown reduction. Because I mean, it, it's just totally subjective. Oh man, I gotta play against Janna. She works well against melee picks because they like physically throw themselves into the enemy team and then when their gap closers are gone, you turn into the new Talon. <laughs> Which is basically useless. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's basically useless. Because you've got nothing left, you can't go back in. Talon can never go in because he doesn't have an E ability that can put him into the carry that you want to kill in a team fight. All right, I'm going to try out uh, Machete this game since Machete got buffed, but I'm pretty sure Talisman still might be better on Kha'Zix because you're not running attack speed. You want to start on blue now since Gromp and Krugs are delayed. And it's easier to do red and blue now that there aren't small ones for Kha'Zix. You get isolated Q right away. Man, this jungle clear is crazy. I'm not losing any health. And the clear speed seems to be really fast. I'm almost level 3 already. Oh, man. This camp's going to be kind of hard, though. Yeah, that, this camp I took the most damage from by far. <laughs> More than the other three camps combined. This one takes, like, extra damage from... Uh, uh, for physical champions, because it has negative armor. And then use that to get over this wall easier. Uh oh, this camp's gonna be kinda hard. Almost level 5. Ooh, that was close. I ran into Rengar. I'm about to hit level 5. If only I didn't have to use Flash, I could have maybe burned Rengar's Flash there by jumping on him. Five by four minutes. Oh, okay, that's bonkers, man. <laughs> that's very strong for Kha'Zix. Two levels higher than Rengar. And after doing a full clear, it was still like three minute, 30 seconds or something like that. And I was like halfway to level five. Oh, what the hell? There's a Janna here. When your bot lane's losing and a Janna can roam, you know, you know someone messed up somewhere. This Q cooldown is so low. I'm just like spamming Q because it has that 60% cooldown reduction if you evolve it and you're getting isolated Qs with it. I have more farm than our top laner just from jungling because there's so many small minions now. Waiting until Riven used all of her abilities to go in so she couldn't, like, stun then flash. I can do it so fast with my Q. Ooh. Kha'Zix is so good at doing dragon. Even better at doing dragon than he was before. Because your Q is so effective against single target. And I really think Tiamat's going to be important on Kha'Zix. Like, more than it was before. So you can do the Raptor camp faster in the Krug camp, so I need to build Tiamat. Wait, why is he in there?
Wait, plant, no! Oh my god, the plant killed me. Holy shit. I thought I was okay, but the plant was still on me. Rengar, if you want to fight me anytime. <laughs> anytime. I welcome the easy... You got 43 CS, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if that's bugged or not, but I think he might actually only have 43 CS. Because he's just running around trying to fight people. Okay, let's see if he jumps on me. You can definitely see him jumping on me. I just can't fight him under the tower. Okay, there it is. Let's fight. Wait, really? Not a 1v1, you fucking bitch! Let's see what this ribbon does. Hmm, didn't even have to use my jump. Alright, let's do Baron. I don't have Smite, but I can do it so quickly. I think we should just try to do it. Kha'Zix seems kind of insane. Probably is going to get nerfed. The new jungle actually seems really ridiculous if you've got good single target and AoE, which Kha'Zix got really good single target, and then you build Tiamat and have crazy AoE. I'm not going to build any more lethality than what I have already. It, uh, it's only going to take you so far. I think you need to build just like raw physical damage and cooldown reduction for your damage sources now. Build Ninja Tabbies just to keep smashing the Rengar, Lucian, and Riven. I don't think Zyra will be a problem as long as I stay away from her unless I'm bursting her. So if I jump in and go for her, then she's dead. If I avoid her, then she's not doing any damage to me and I'm just 1v1ing the fed carries. Looks like... No, oh, this champion's busted. <laughs> oh my gosh. People were scared that new Kha'Zix was going to be garbage. This is by far the strongest assassins I've, I've seen so far. Just absolutely does better than new jungle and might even be more OP with this new Q. Because if you get an isolated Q, it's like basically resetting when you have max CDR. Just like instantly up. No, not getting isolated Q damage. Feels bad, man. It's like you almost have enough to jump and one-shot someone, but then they just turn and like exhaust you or CC you. All I have to do there is wait for someone to do a little bit of damage and then go in or wait until they're isolated or just avoid fighting them and just finish the Nexus, which is what I could have done. I think you definitely want to do your R evolution now over the W. Considering if they're isolated already, they're already going to get super punished, but the R evolution got even better. But I would still probably do the R evolution last. Q evolution early game is too important. E seconds, obviously, really good too. Shit, how do I have tire aggro? God, I didn't want to die. <laughs> I had to go this way because I got tire aggro after Annie dropped it. She should have, uh. She should have, like, let Tibbers tank it first. Oh well. Not a good idea to try to jump into people when they're not isolated, still. I mean, the old Kha'Zix was the same way. You're not getting isolated damage. It was really hard to kill them if they have utility picks like Chana because she can exhaust you or shield them and you might not have enough damage to get a reset. But you're. Baron and Dragon damage is not balanced. He might be the fastest jungler at doing those because of the Q cooldown reset. He might actually be able to solo Baron with a weird build. I want to end it.
we go. Finally, once they get isolated damage, it just all falls apart for them. Kha'Zix, verdict on Kha'Zix, absolutely busted. I dated Taylor Swift. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, she's dated everyone, right? If you've lived in this state, you've dated Taylor Swift.